Welcome again to ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. In this video, we will learn how can we get a list of all the books from database and how can we display that data onto our UI. Let's start. We will learn how can we get all books data from database. Let's open the Visual Studio. Let's open the controller folder and inside the controllers folder, you can see we have book controller and this is the method which is used to display the data of all the books. Let's go to the definition of this method. So over here you can see that right now we are returning only the data source and this data source is a list of hard coded book records. So now we will work on this method and we will get all the data from database. Let's start and since we have to use async call for our database, so we have to make this async. Okay, let's change the return type. Make sure you use task. And inside this task, we need to get data from our database. So suppose here I'm writing where data is equals to, we have to use the context class, context dot books. Since we have to get all the books, so we can simply use dot to list method over here. And if we notice that we have two method for the to list, first one is normal to list and second one is to list async. So since we are making async call, so we have to use this to list async. Let's use await keyword over here. The return type of this method is list of books, but the return type of our method is list of book model. So we have to convert this data to a book model. And how can we do that? Right now we are not using any mapper to convert our data from this books type to the book model type. So we have to do this manually. And how can we do that? First, we need to verify if we have some value in the data. Then we need to apply for each loop over here. In data. Let's rename this variable to make it more familiar. So right now I'm using all books. Since the return type of this method is list of book model. So first we have to create a list of this type. Books dot, we can use add method and inside this add method, we need to create new instance of the book model like this. And now we can assign each property of this book model. How can we do that? So let's start from the author. Author is equals to book dot author. And now we simply have to return this books data. Now we are done with this method. Let's go back to the controller. Okay, so we have to update this method as well. How to do that? First, we need to use await keyword. And since we are using await, we have to convert this to async as well. Let's change the return type as well. Perfect. There is no need to make any other change. We have already written the code of displaying these books onto our UI. Let's verify that code as well, just for a while. Go to view. Over here, you can see that we are using this for each loop to display the data. Okay, so without make any change, let's build the solution. Now let's run this application into debug mode. Let's put a breakpoint over here on this get all books method so that we can verify that data. And now let's click on this all books link. Let's press F10. Let's go inside this method and click on the F11 button. Okay, let's click again F10. At this point, you can see that we are getting the data from database. As of now, we have only five books into our database. So here you can see that we are having all the five books. And now since this condition is true because there are five books into this all books object, let's click on the F10 button. Okay, let's continue it from here. So we have all the books and in this books object, we have all our five books. Let's click on the continue button. And here you can see that we are having all the books. Let's disable all the breakpoints just for a while. Click on the debug and choose this disable all breakpoints. Go back to the browser. Let's add a new book. So suppose I'm writing Jira. Suppose the author is Monica. 
page number or suppose 786 click on the add book okay so the book has been added successfully into the database right now if i will click on this link then it will not work perfect because in the details method we are still getting the data from our in memory data source we are not getting that data from the database so this will not give us the desired result to verify this book we can click on this old books link and over here you can see that we have this new book jira this is how you can add records into the database and you can get all of them from database and make sure you use async call for each and every database call. I hope you are loving this tutorial. Make sure to hit the like button of this video. Tell me your feedback into the comment section. Please share this video, subscribe to our channel and please join the WebGentle channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.